and we are ready to go and you can see the tree lighting up so five red lights trackers live and we are away it looks like a great getaway from Bilbas in the McLaren as well as a little there. bit of spot there you got Johnny Foss taking that p3 and to guarding it from Tanakan so fighting up the field as looks like Jackson is all the way down at the bottom end of the field and looks to be having their own little squabble down here say so side by side that mid pack nobody is giving each other an inch and more importantly though they're keeping it respectful we haven't seen any taps any punts jackson dropping behind in a big way however not really sure what's going on there Didn't, haven't got a visual on his car the end plate damage at the moment because he's got uh, he's fighting side by side but with the mercedes of luke tembinkel and then there's another spinner and that's larson larson's uh, gone into off uh, into the fence and he's still on the He's, it doesn't look like he's like got, got too, much too much damage on that car, so somehow the Alfa Tori, Alfa Romeo have survived. Cause Garden AJ. They managed to keep it together. Yeah, ooh, there's a little bit of contact too between the Red Bull, I think, but uh, yeah, for the back, that's just keeping an eye on that backfield there for you there, but Taking on board with uh, Erlinghausen now, managed to get a little bit of space to themselves. Things have started to balance out a fair bit. I think we are seeing everyone start to form into a couple of their grids the majority of the medium runners and in fact a majority of the grid is a medium so they don't have drs at their disposal just yet so he's just seeing if he can keep within that threshold until he does and that is when the climbing starts to happen strategic plays is what it's all about here can't house fighting it out right now it's become a three-way battle for seventh place. Erlinghauser had a good overtake on the start, finished straight on De Boer, but very soon Franklin's going to get in on the mix. As you can see, that Aston waiting Martin. to use it. He's alongside De Boer, has a good run here, taking it side by side, going to have the inside on the next corner. Most importantly, really can really flex that advantage. And even with DRS for the both of them, it's not going to be... He's got Thomas for company there. Yeah, so even Thomas is here coming right up close to each other. Going to have a bit of the DRS on the Alpine, who is going to go defensive onto the inside, trying keeping uh, an arm's There's length. No DRS once again there, Benjamin, for a couple of laps. It's going to go drivers are back up to race speed. And he gets the pace of the race going right away, but doesn't manage to catch anyone off guard. So Gazan and Foss are right on their heel yeah, helicopter so shot, trying to get a move done and see where they can get away with getting around Erlinghauser, opted not to pit, staying on the mediums, squeezed to the outside as the superior speed of the Aston Martin just shows itself. With the British Racing Green, manages to get back up ahead, in fact. Really gunning it down the uh, down the straight there and managing to reassert that position. A tight margin to go. Say so Cook and De Boer, just very close to losing it. Just about manages to catch it, but not without some concessions. As that is going to be them dropping up behind Tembrinka and having to drag race to lose yet another position from AJ Jackson. Those last few laps. They just need to get track position and then defend it. It's easier to defend from behind than to attack up ahead. So he needs oh, to get this Oh, and E2 as well. I was going to say, side by side, Nara and E2. They had a spin. Through the final back straight to get in that speed the draft 206 miles an hour is going to be thrown down the inside just about holding it together looks like a tiny bit of lock on the wheels but it just knows gonna... he's going to get it back on the next lap if he can stay within it and has whether or not the mclaren driver has he burnt all his energy is he going to harvest enough energy to defend a... oh, elf back end leader this race after starting on pole through 15 16 sorry 13 14 15 now, it's all about the exit out of 16. Bilbins needs to get a great exit out of 16. Get the ERS and see if he can... DRS to see if he can take it back now. But Bilbins didn't get the exit he needed. It's a little bit of squirreliness under the throttle. That same gapping. But as we come round, final corner. Emir goes wide, taps the wall in the dying seconds. Yep, this it's is going to be, be a drag race to the line. They're right Whoa. to the neck and it's going to be Emir. Taking the checkered flag.